What might a negotiated settlement look like? Well, first of all, I'm not speaking for either side here. I'm just saying from a realistic standpoint, something that might be in the middle. One would be Russia would obviously want to keep the territories of the Russian speakers. Um, the sooner this comes to an agreement, it would be better because they may capture more territories. They're definitely going after Kherson, which is the second largest city in Ukraine, so it's not exactly small. They certainly want Odessa. So I don't know what they'd be allowed to keep, what they wouldn't in some sort of a settlement, but maybe it's what they have now or maybe it's a little bit more, I don't know. But certainly Ukraine would like to keep access to the Black Sea in some way, although that area down there is considered a largely Russian-speaking population as well. Certainly an end to the fighting. And then possibly, you know, the guarantees for the rest of Ukraine. You're going to have to have some sort of guarantees so that, you know, I understand Ukrainians are not going to want another war started. So maybe something like Ukraine's allowed to join NATO. The borders are recognized. But then in addition to that, no offensive weapons are allowed within so many miles of either side of the border. And that could extend to other NATO territories as well. So that would certainly kind of make both sides happy. And they're worried about the, the planes of Ukraine being able to come in as an easy attack. So they have their buffer. And if neither side's allowed to keep, say, offensive weapons within, I don't know, 200 miles of each border or something, that gives Ukraine a security guarantee. And people stop dying. Is it perfect? No. Is it what both sides want? No. But kind of the idea. But again, I'm not the one in charge. But I'm just trying to give people an idea of what something might look like.